And so I did a little remodeling on my glass still here. So that's just sugar, sugar wash, sugar mash, whatever you call it. Uh, I got the copper, the chromatography flask. Now this guy here, the Snyder column. You can see that it's got these little balls in there. And the balls really do a good job of refluxing. So it's actually surprising what it's doing here. So that goes along here. And then, so that's just a cork, it's nothing. Then I built this thumper. Theoretically, it's a thumper. The tube goes down. A little charcoal in there. I just started out with some vodka. But a little charcoal in it. I don't know. I thought maybe it'd filter. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe somebody could let me know. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Comes out of there. Figure why not have a little more copper to rid of any sulfides or bad flavors. Drops in here. Now here's something trippy compared to how I used to run it. Uh, it's not focusing. But this thing's running under 180 degrees. There it is at uh, 178 degrees or whatever. So this thing's running cool on the far end compared to my old setup. Goes down the gram condenser right here. That's a little tricky thing I made myself. So that is a little baby hydrometer. I didn't make that. But this is called a reaction flask, which I made a parrot out of it by heating up and bending this nipple here that used to point straight up this way. So I heated it up, melted it, bent it down so that it would drain out so that you could still read this hydrometer which is of course facing the wrong way because that's how things go. Now it'd be nice if maybe the alcohol coming out went straight to the bottom in a separate tube and then the hydrometer floated up I think it would be more accurate, but I think this is fine. But this is a hydrometer that goes up to 100%, and it is sunk. I tested it for accuracy against a regular one. So apparently what I'm getting out of here must be awful close to 200 proof. I'll proof it again with a bigger, more accurate one, but I mean, I must be getting, you know, 195 or better out of it. So then I just got this food grade silicone tube going down into a jug just to drain off. So this thing is a lot more efficient than I anticipated it being. So for other things when I run whiskey or brandy, then I'll put something in that thumper other than charcoal. And I won't use this Snyder column because that just gets the, the ABV entirely too high for anything with flavor. But for making some flavorless pure ethanol that you could probably use for fuel or water down and uh, use for vodka. Not a bad setup. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's doing a little better than I anticipated.